What do you get when you assemble a cast of world famous action heroes? Give them each a specialty, like knives, guns, martial arts, and ram them into one $80 million film. Ah, and put Rambo at the helm. You end up with something like a nuclear explosion on steroids. And it's called The Expendables. You. Got my ass Who but the most iconic battler figure of all time, Sylvester Stallone, could have pulled this off. As the film's director, writer and lead actor, Stallone decided the world needed some old school action and he, now in his 60s, was the man to bring it. I brought in some uh, new faces, new blood, and what's come about is just this really interesting gathering of uh, people that are extremely their own person. Sly's biggest challenge was to convince as many action legends as possible to join the cast. Jason Statham? Tick. Jet Li? Tick. Cameos from Bruce Willis and Arnold Schwarzenegger? Tick. Dolph Lundgren? Big Tick. Working with Sly again, it's, it's really a pleasure. I mean, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm still uh, kind of shocked that I'm here and after 25 years here, I'm... <laughs> Squaring off with Stallone again. He is the most probably driven, but it's all for the movie, and it's all to a point. And um, I learned a lot from Sly. So, what exactly is the storyline responsible for this meeting of the muscles? Well, The Expendables is about a crack team of mercenaries whose latest mission sends them to South America for the rapid dispatch of an evil dictator. I'll take the four on the left. Why don't you take the two on the right and leave the rest alone? You should take the two on the right, not that fast anymore. The only thing faster is light. Part of the way into the mission, something just doesn't smell right. It seems that some of the guys on their side really aren't. In particular, one ex-CIA operative, James Munro. Well, the best part of playing a bad guy ever is you get the best clothes, you get the best cars, you get the loosest women, and you almost always get to die. What fun. Bring on the damsel in distress. She's a freedom fighter slash mysterious contact person called Sandra. She's taken as a hostage until Stallone remembers his manners and they go back to rescue her. And how about those stunts? Get out there! Wait a minute! Sly Stallone is known for his harsh but fair directing style. They call him the general, amongst other things. Nothing that he doesn't uh, uh, allow himself to, to be a part of. And, uh, you know, it's a one-man vision that uh, is, is full of experience and, and full of confidence. Are you crazy? Could have killed me! You're welcome! Everyone of us has been never! you got to hand it to Sly. This has got to be the biggest, most audacious harebrained scheme for full-fledged action mania in a long, long time. The Expendables harks back to a time when Arnie was an actor, not a governator, when the bad guy was really easy to hate. And you didn't need 3D glasses to get your thrills. It was all there in living, breathing, exploding colour. Make sure you see it on the big screen. The Expendables, only at the movies from August 12th.